Right, so hello everyone, and today we're doing a bit of a different one today. We are out at the beautiful Western Pools Fishery, one of my favourites, and we're going to have a day focusing on pre-tied hooks because I think if I'd say with every product within the fishing industry over the last year, that's probably had the biggest improvement in terms of quality. I mean, pre-tied hooks, looking back a few years ago, were very much seen as a rough and ready thing that they simply weren't used by match anglers because they weren't of... I'm not going to say high enough quality, but they weren't correct for anything that us lads did. They weren't correct for the type of fishing that we were doing. They were made for pleasure anglers, if we're completely honest, and of a basic standard. Now, things have changed completely, and if you want to be in the hook market for selling hooks that are pre-tied, if they're not as good as what I can produce myself, then what is the point? Do you know what I mean? They needed, pretty much, I needed Matrix to produce me hooks that I was happy to use just to save me some flipping time, sat at my table at home, to get rid of that so I've got some hooks that I'm for the first time ever happy to take straight out of a packet put it in my hook box and be happy to use because simply I can't prepare yeah prepare is the right word uh, a better tied hook myself which so that's what it's come to now many companies do them but we've definitely within our new range of all the MXC hooks made the highest quality possible hook length that we could possibly achieve and tied in the right way but I'll come on to that a little bit later so that's what I want to do for today I'm going to simply break you down three or four of the patterns that we do and talk about what I use them for. Do you mean give you a proper reason for why we've made the hooks we've made and the proper uses for each of these types of hooks in length, diameter and style of hook that we've made on the market for now. So onto the hooks, and first up, it's got to be me, I would call it my favourite. Do you know what I mean? The hook that I use nine times out of ten with the style of fishing I do. It is quite well known that I'm a big, big fan of fishing pellets. And the MXC6, which is the hook that, what am I going to call it? The light to medium gauge hook in our range, the eyed, um, hair rig style type hook. Do you know what I mean? Very, very popular style of hook. That is the one for me that I needed. You know what I mean? It's what our boss has saved to last as well. I think he's done that just to make me suffer for a bit. But now he's made a beautiful range of the MXC6s in all the variations that I could possibly need it. You know I mean, nice and simplified and keeping things the way we want them to be. And that's what I'm going to go through. So we've done keep the MXC6 for the style of fishing that I'm going to do it with, or my hard pellet fishing with uh, fours and six mil pellets, never anything really bigger, for nice, sexy fish. I mean, for F1s. All my type of fishing, little carp, F1s, even some skin bobs. That is what the MXC's come into, uh, MXC six has come into. And doing them the way that we've done them, we've literally done them in a four inch and a six inch. So the four inch was the main thing that was missing. I mean, these days I find it for, I'm gonna say for nearly 100% of my fishing on the bottom, definitely out in open water, it's not too shallow, a four inch hook length is what I'm gonna choose. Just for, for basic reasons, if I pick my rig up and give you a quick nosy at him. So that's got, one of the up lengths I'm talking about there, that in this case I've got a 16, which the 16s we've got tied to 014. So the 16s and the 14s, they're tied to 014, and the 18s are tied to 012 or 012.5. So they're, they're tied to what you're going to use them for. It's pointless making a massive big range of hooks at all different diameters of line or different strengths of line, that you're simply not going to use it. I've been a big advocate of that in my own fishing for years, and that needed to come across in the hooks. But as you can see with that, very, very similar, very basic style of hook length, the standard style that I use for nearly all my fishing is a four inch hook length with my first shot. In this case, I've got a, oh, a standard hard pellet rig, what I'd use for anywhere from two foot up to about seven foot. And it's standard of four inch hook length with shot right on top of the loops. I use that style of rig, that style of shot in, that length of hook length for all of my fishing in summer, literally all the time, unless I'm coming into the edge for on the bottom, four inch hook length, it shows bites up quicker. You know, I've done many, many, many videos on that in the past, and by choosing a four inch, as soon as that shot's moved, you see your bite. Spoke about that loads, and it's what we needed. I mean, massively missing in the range was that four inch hook length, the style, the style of fishing I needed hooks for. That's what we needed, and that's what we've done. But also as well, just to make things a little more versatile, we felt it was important to do a six inch as well. So four inches, absolutely brilliant for what we're using them for when you're on the bottom. The problem with four inches is they have very little versatility. I mean, great when they're straight out the bag, but if I want to use a three inch for when I'm fishing down the edge in really, really shallow water, or maybe I want to use a six inch when I'm shallow fishing, that's where the six inches actually come in. I mean, it's never ever 
viable to make three inch hook lengths, we're not going to sell any. But the six inches allow me a, a versatile hook length that I can either use as a six inch, which I'm a big, big fan of. Not so much for F1 shallow fishing, but definitely for small carp shallow fishing that I may use these in the 14s for. Be quite often my sexy mugging sort of gear that I use a 14 and MXC6 for um, with 014. That's all perfectly balanced with a six inch hook length to create a nice sexy four. So for a lot of my carpy, now and again some F1 shallow fishing, but mostly my carp shallow fishing, six inch straight out tin, straight on the hook, it's happy. I mean, that's how I'm gonna have my rig set up. But as I said, also with six inch, I've got enough rig to play with if I wanna cut these down to three inch. So these are my really versatile ones that I can still fill my three inch pins with for my F1s type fishing. So I've got a hook length that I can use for F1 shallow or my mud line type really shallow water fishing where I need the three inch hook length. That's where these bad boys come in. So within the range, nice and simple, as I said, it's only six different um, styles of hook length sort of thing. It just comes into size of hooks and lengths. But within that six, I can cover I'm going to say 90% of the fishing I do for the summer, which saves me a hell of a lot of time sitting at my table tying hooks. Right, next up, and I want to focus on, I'm going to cover two in this one, in that I'm going to cover the MXC3 and the MXC4 patterns that we brought out. And say so both of these patterns are not exclusively because we all like doing different things but for me they're very much geared towards method and pellet feeder fishing you know i mean standard feeder fishing hook lengths that i need when i need a slightly heavier hook i mean the mxc6 is absolutely phenomenal for all of my pole fishing but when it comes to putting a feeder on i need something a little bit stronger in many situations and for me i go with the mxc3 which is what we've done we've got the mxc3 which um we're going to call that what we call that a medium gauge hook i mean it's what i use for all my carp fishing Often my carp fishing when I'm fishing shallow with bands that we also do, but for this, it's geared towards my light feeder fishing. I mean, standard pellet feeder fishing, just as we're gonna have a quick go of today. But as well, we've got the option of the MXC4s, which are slightly heavier, a tiny bit of a heavier gauge. I mean, the eyes are slightly different, a straighter eye on them, not so much of an outturned eye, yeah, and all beefed up on slightly a heavier line, just for them really snaggy, frightening situations. But for today, definitely, I wanna talk about the threes. I mean, the threes for me have been the one for fishing sensible lines. I mean, 016, 018, 020, it just keeps things sensible for the type of fishing that I'm doing, what most of us do day in, day out. And what I really want to focus on on this one, if I demonstrate, I'm going to show you actually on my feeder instead of breaking a new one out the packet, what's really, really important with these, and as well, it's also how we, um, how we do the MXC6s, how they're tied. That was the really, really, really important thing. When it comes to producing these hook lengths, I'm very, very fussy on them being tied in the same way as I do things. Because over the years, that's definitely become the best way by far for me to produce a hair rig, be it with a band, a bayonet, a spike, whatever else, that's as durable as possible. I mean, it doesn't get bashed, it doesn't get snapped in your net, and it stays as pretty as possible with my bait in the right position all day. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of that in terms of having it within a loop, so you see with all these tied, in this case, I've got a spike on, it's free running within that loop. So it's never fixed with a knot. There's no point that that knot can get pressure on it and snap because there is none. It's just a free running bayonet within a loop. It'd be exactly the same with the bands, but also it's whipped as low down as it can possibly be because I want that hair rig to be not as short as possible, but relatively short, so there's less chance of it getting damaged. And with the whip in nicely halfway down the shank of the hook, it allows that um, hair rig to stay in the same place all day and present the bait as well as it can possibly be. So a really, really little thing that's almost not noticeable, but massively, massively important for me to make sure I'm presenting me bait in the right way all the time. I mean, we've all seen damaged hair rigs that are kicked off all over the back of the hook. With these, they stay where I want them to be for as long as possible. And so tying them in the way that we have done ensures that we end up with the, the best quality hook length for as long as it possibly can. I mean, it keeps that bait exactly where I want it to be and just does the job on the tin. Right, so by last and no means, of course, least, I've got to focus on a few of the patterns that we've done for conventional hooking, the spade end patterns, which, of course, are vital for 
whenever I'm fishing down the edge, whatever, whenever I want to hook a bait, which if I'm completely honest, isn't pretty much until the winter months. But as I say, we've still got that covered. And again, nice, simplified yet versatile hooks was the name of the day. Name of the day, name of the game. So we've gone with the MXC ones, MXC twos, MXC ones. There are, what am I going to call them? They're the go-to summer standard fishing hook. You know what I mean, a medium gauge wire, whenever I'm fishing maggot, soft pellets, corn meat, whatever else, they're what I choose. I actually choose them for pretty much most of my margin fishing as well. It's very rare that I actually need to go to much heavier gauge than that for the type of fishing I do. But then of course we've got MXC2s just in case you fish venues that are a bit angry for me, if I'm completely honest, but that's what we've done. The MXC2s, big, angry, scary, 020, 018, all big and heavy, slightly heavier gauge, or the heaviest gauge that we do in the spade ends but for my fishing for 99% of it whenever I'm fishing as I say I'm hooking baits maggots casters whatever else or quite often for me shallow fishing as well I'm a big fan of using standard hooks not hair rigging when I'm using maggot shallow I go to these I mean the MXC ones in 18s probably when it's a little bit tricky but for me 16s and 14s they're my go-to hook whenever I'm fishing a four inch hook length with maggots whatever on the bottom as I said potentially shallow but just make things really, really simple. And if you've seen other videos that we've done, the way these hooks are tied, uh, it's a joke. I simply, I can't do that myself. I mean, I tie all my hooks by hand myself, ones that I've used in the past. I physically cannot tie a hook as well as these have been tied. I mean, I do feel sorry for the people that have to tie them, but they're tied quite simply phenomenally. And something else also worth mentioning is that with every single matrix hook that we produced in the pre-tied range, in the uh, fours and six inch sizes, all of them will fit perfectly into the hook length boxes, which I'm going to prove that in fact. We're going to whiz one out straight away. And these are one of my one of my angry hooks, one of my MXC2s that I put on for these angry ones at Western. And you'll see that straight out tub, that'll go brand new, sexy box for you all to see. Uh, what we're doing, third pin in, four inch, goes on beautifully, good to go. I mean, I can fill that hook length box in minutes just by buying packets of hooks instead of spending hours and hours and hours fixing them myself and so it's probably the worst job for me is tying hook lens. I'm not a fan of it whatsoever. But you see, straight in, looked after, stored, especially after you bought them. For me, I definitely wouldn't recommend keeping them just in a packet. I mean, whizzing them into your box just keeps them beautifully looked after and as good condition that they can possibly be in. So pretty much overall, that is the hooks that we're now producing for you lovely lot to hopefully get you on the bank a little bit quicker and less time sat in front of that tile, tile, table tying hooks you know, it's the probably the worst job in fishing for me so have a look at those definitely well worth a little go to improve your fishing